Hi guys, my name is Lauren and today's video is going to be a skincare routine. I wanted to film this video because I have been on a very, very long journey with my skin. Um, I started getting acne in like fourth grade and it's just been a constant battle since then and I feel like that's really young to start getting like regular acne. So, um, I fought it all throughout middle school and high school. Uh, my mom would try to buy me like the 20 step set things and I was like, I'm like 12, I don't wanna do that and I would never do it and my skin would never get better and it was just not a fun process. And this isn't really about what cleared up my face because I think just a combination of making it through puberty and surviving and just keeping my face clean is really what did that but this is about how I keep my skin looking the way it is right now and the best skincare routine I have found for my skin and I have really really oily skin and I feel like every person that I see do a skincare routine has really really dry skin and so all of their products are very hydrating and very moisturizing and makes your skin very dewy and I don't want that <laughs> I have enough of that on my own I don't need any help and so obviously none of these things are drying that wouldn't really make sense um, but they are really good for my skin and so I figured hey maybe if there's other people with oily skin that might want some recommendations for products that would work for them that aren't overly hydrating I got you so to start this off, I figured I'm going to go in order of how I do it. So I have everything laid out in front of me, right here, in order, because I know that I'll forget. So first things first, the end of the day, and I need to take my makeup off. Um, if I'm being lazy or not showering at night, if I don't shower, I don't wash my face. That's bad. I know. I'm terrible. My face wash lives in my shower, so that's just how it goes. I use these. These are the Equate Beauty Original Clean Wet Cleansing Towelettes with Vitamin E. Completely removes makeup for fresh, clean skin. I love these. I'll usually use one to get everything off my face and then use another one to make sure that I get all the residues off because those don't leave anything on my skin. Like they, It doesn't feel like it's left any product behind. So I'll use one to get all the makeup off and then I'll go in with another to make sure that it's all off if that makes sense and then if I have leftover eye makeup I will use the simple micellar cleansing water this this comes up a lot I use this for a lot of things so that's like the easy way if I really want to take the time I know I'm about to be washing my face with my real face wash and I want to make sure I have everything clean I will use these two products the first one is the Simple Dual Effect Eye Makeup Remover, and this one is Simple Hydrating Cleansing Oil. Now, this one is great to remove all face makeup, everything. It takes it all off. This is specifically for eye makeup. So what I do is I take some of this. It shows in a little diagram to put it on a cotton pad, but I just put it on my hands, and I just rub it on my eyelashes because that's what it's for, and I wear waterproof mascara, so it's really hard to get off. So I'll take some of this in my hands and massage it on just my eyelashes. Like you don't even have to rub your eye. You just rub your eyelashes, if that makes sense. So basically, this is gonna get black stuff all over your face, but it gets it all off your eyelashes, which is what matters. So I do that and then I go in with this, put like three or four drops in your hand. It doesn't take much at all. Rub it between your hands and I just massage it all over my face. And then this kind of helps remove the black mess that the first thing made and get it all off and then you just like rinse with water and rub and rinse until it's all gone but this stuff is great okay so done with that now we're in the shower the first thing i do i use this it's the yes to tomatoes activated charcoal cleansing bar soap stuff um i use this to wash my whole body but what I really do in particular for my face is when this is all sudsy, I'll take it and I will just take a tiny little, just, just like the bubbles, just like you do this, like that, and you just get those bubbles. And then I just take it and I wash it over my skin 
and just rinse it immediately off. Like, I don't leave it, but I feel like that is going to get off any remaining residue from makeup or a skin product or just bacteria and gross stuff off my face. So that way when I use my actual cleanser, it has the best shot of doing the best that it possibly can for my skin. So the face wash that I use is the Biore Deep Pore Charcoal Cleanser. And it looks like this. And I absolutely love this cleanser. This is my favorite face wash I've ever used ever. And it has activated charcoal as does that bar. And I love using activated charcoal because it's a natural ingredient and it really helps detoxify your skin and just get all the nasty stuff out of it. But this is great and it really is very cooling. So when you use it on your skin and you're washing your face, it's like cold. So be wary because if you get it on your eyes, you feel like your eyes are freezing and it's really weird. It's a weird thing. I don't know. My boyfriend doesn't like it because it makes his face cold, but he's really picky. I love it. I think it feels amazing, uh, especially because I take really hot showers and it's like you get a nice cold face wash, if that makes sense. I don't know. It's really good and I absolutely love it. It keeps my skin so nice and clean. It doesn't feel tight afterwards. Like some cleansers when you wash your face, it, they feel really tight and like your skin just feels like meh like saran wrap or something this doesn't do that um what i use along with that is my spin for perfect skin brush uh this is just the regular head and then there's also an exfoliating head i use both of them it just depends on the day just however i'm feeling that day i'll use either one if, if my skin's like especially like gunky feeling or like it's just not doing good i'll definitely use the exfoliating one but other than that there's really no rhyme or reason to which one i use they're both great i love this brush all this does is spin it's not like some fancy thing it just spins in a in a circle like that it's really good it really cleans everything it makes my skin feel so nice i've had a lot of like texture right here and on my nose and this has brought it down completely like you can't i can't feel anything anymore so I love this okay so we're out of the shower now um, the toner that I'm currently using is the pixie glow tonic exfoliating toner now this is it's I I mean I don't particularly love it and whenever I run out like I'm almost out sort of I have like that much left um, I'm probably going to buy something different just to try something out. Like, this didn't really wow me, but I still use it. It's good. It's fine. It's not bad. So, some people rave about this and absolutely love it, which is why I tried it, but I'm just kind of indifferent towards it. It didn't make, like, a huge difference in my skin. Maybe my skin just doesn't need this particular product. Um, but that's what I'm using right now. And then, after that... I don't know if this really counts as skincare, but your lips are on your face. So I always use that and then I put on chapstick before moisturizer because if you put on moisturizer first, then your hands are all slippery and then I can't get the caps off of my chapstick. So I put that on first and I'm usually like letting that dry and then I put my chapstick on. My SD card just ran out of storage so I had to switch it and then I had to put my camera back. So if I like moved in the frame, like over, I'm sorry, <laughs> I apologize. Um, my camera's kind of just sitting on a box right now in my window, so I don't really exactly know where I had it. Okay, so anyway, the chapstick set I really love to use. Um, I have the doTERRA Spa Lip Balm. doTERRA is an essential oils company. Uh, my mom sells it, and I never really get into the whole oils thing, but this is the chapstick that they have, and I absolutely love it, so makes her happy makes me happy I love chapstick so this is great um, these two actually both got in my ipsy this is from the December ipsy it's the Rimmel London Kate lipsticks it's just a clear lip balm and it smells amazing I don't even know how to describe it but I love it and I have one of these other lipsticks and I got it a long time ago so I don't know if they still smell the way they used to but it was like super sweet and to me it smelled like cake and I just could not stand having that on my mouth like I couldn't wear that lipstick because the smell was so strong and it made me sick to my stomach so 
This doesn't smell like that. This is awesome. And then this is the Pure Lease Daily Lip Nourisher with Mango and Shea Butter. This smells amazing, feels amazing, tastes amazing. Um, I use this one if I'm like really like doing a face mask and exfoliating my lips and just like pampering myself because it's it's a lot slippery, slippery, it's like liquidy, or I don't know. Um, basically it's more liquid than these are like solid. So I don't use this one all the time because I sometimes I can't stand for that to be on my mouth. But when I want to, I use this and it's amazing. So finally, for my moisturizer, I use the Simple Replenishing Rich Moisturizer. And it's this one and I have used this for a really long time. Um, it feels really good on my skin. I love it because it feels super moisturizing, obviously. Um, but it doesn't like linger like you rub it in and it feels really good and then it just absorbs into your skin really really fast it doesn't leave like a greasy feeling it doesn't stay like lotiony like when you put lotion on it it doesn't always absorb in and you can just like touch your skin and it just feels like gross this doesn't do that and that's really why I love it because like I said I have really oily skin so I don't want something that's gonna stay on top of my skin and just stay even more greasy than I already am. I don't need that in my life. <laughs> so, I love this. This is like my second or third bottle of this. It's amazing. So, everything that I just went through is my nighttime routine. And I'm just gonna go through my morning routine really quickly. It's really simple. All I do is I wake up and I put the Simple Micellar Cleansing Water, again, on a cotton pad and I just put it all over my face. Um, I do that because I don't want to wash my whole face in the morning because I don't wake up early enough to have time for that. But I do know that like your pillowcase gets really gross and it just harbors bacteria and your skin just picks up all this stuff throughout the night when you're sleeping and it's just kind of nasty if you think about it. Um, so I just use this, it gets all the bacteria off my skin and it's also nice and like cool in the morning, kind of wakes you up. And it's great because you can use this to get like extra mascara like if you didn't get it all or like eyeliner you know what I'm talking about when you wake up and you kind of look like a raccoon this takes that off immediately it doesn't matter if it's from waterproof or not um, it works fine so I use this and then I go back in with my toner chapstick and moisturizer <laughs> it's the same I don't have like an extravagant skincare routine I don't have like morning stuff and night stuff this I just have all of this stuff for all the time and it's great so that completes this video I hope you guys enjoyed I hope some of this was helpful if you have oily skin or even not oily skin if you have dry skin I'm sure some of this stuff would work great for you if you have skin any skin it's all great but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye